Hey everyone, welcome back to Magic Farm 2. Since the last episode, I've just kind of been cleaning up my inventory. I uh, grabbed me another gold chest. I think what I'm going to do, because my um, diamond chest in the back from uh, all the extra loot that we've been getting from our uh, mob spawner there, is uh, starting to fill up. So I think for now, I'm just going to place this right there and replace it with a gold chest. Because this thing is... Um, <laughs> Got a lot of good loot in here for me, and I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it all just yet. A lot of diamond armor that we could um, make use of at some point. Um, some chainmail stuff. I think we almost have a full set of chainmail, which would be kind of cool to put on a, um, a stand upstairs somewhere. Um, I know we got a bunch of random items in here as well that I can just probably throw in my network. Potatoes, nether wart, some fish, um, snowball, iron hoe. All of those bows up there, I know I could probably um, combine at some point. Um, but yeah, just throwing all this stuff in the network and just letting it sit there for now. Uh, letting the items still continue to rack up in the meantime. There we go. I think that'll work. Alright, let's put this back away. Alright, we got our great wood wand. Hold on to that for the time being. So last episode, we wound up getting Unbreaking Tin, which was off of a... Um, special item that was dropped, which was an ancient fishing rod, I believe it was called. And I'm gonna see if I can possibly duplicate that with Bibliocraft. So if I go into at Bibliocraft, uh, we want to make, I believe, this, the typesetting table, the printing press, and I think there was one more thing, wasn't there? Typesetting table, printing press. Um, yes, we needed like reading glasses or a monocle or tinted shades. I think for this, I'm just going to make some reading glasses. There we go. That should suffice for now. I know I'm going to definitely need to go pick up some more ink sacks, but I think I have some upstairs. All right, do we have everything for this? I need some print press chases. I'm just going to grab... 12. I'm going to put one back in the network because I know I'm going to need some of these in a little bit. So there we go. There's a typesetting table. And now we just need a printing press, which is going to require some blocks of... Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Alright. I see where this is going. We'll just put a little bit of iron in here. Oop, not that one. Silly Bentley. Jeez, you almost messed up there again. <laughs> Whoops. All right. We'll let that do its thing, I think. In the meantime, I want to take a look in the Thaumonomicon. Um, we have this, the focus pouch, but to unlock this, I need some instrumentum. And then I can um, get the research for that and then just craft that together. So I guess while we're waiting on that to finish up, uh, let me come up here and see if I can make some instrumentum real quick. We should be able to just quickly see what we need to make it. Oh, ah, okay, we just need a little bit of Humanus and a little bit of Ordo. Alright, where's Ordo? There's Humanus. And there's Ordo. And there we go, we just made a little bit of instrumentum. Now we should be able, oops, to unlock this, the focus pouch. And then we should be able to just craft this. So we just need tin, perdito, ordo, and terra. A little bit of leather and gold. Cool. That way I don't have to carry around all the um, focuses just in my inventory. I'll probably see about making some more of those pretty soon. I do like them. I think they're kind of fun. Alright, do I have any leather in here? I have five. I'll go ahead and pull that out. Grab a piece of gold. The iron should be done melting. There we go. 64. Perfect. It didn't combine with anything else. I was a little worried it might. Alright, we'll stop by our library. And we'll pick up a little bit more leather. I just need two more pieces. We should be able to craft ourselves a nice little focus pouch. There we go. Nice. Alright, so how do I put this in there then? Oh, okay, right click. 
Perfect. And cool. Still have access to it. Nice. All right. That works for me. I still have access. To okay, good. I just making sure it wasn't like only available on your hot bar or something. That's good to know. I think I'm going to probably, with all the diamond armor I have, I'm probably just going to pick these up and put these randomly around the house. I don't really see the point just having an armor room now that I have like a ton of armor. I didn't think I was going to wind up having all that. Um, Alright, so I need iron. I think this is the last piece I needed. Nope, one more. Alright, and then we just needed the printing press. Come on. I know you're a little slow. There we go. You can definitely speed that thing up with some of those, um, what do you call those, uh, uh fluid ducts. Right. Alright, let's just put this in here. And we need a printing press. Oh no, we need a blazer on for that. Ugh. Drat. That's not good. And there's no other way to craft one, and I have yet to find a nether fortress in the nether, so I might have to hold off on this. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. Yep, I'm probably going to have to hold off on that, but I think I can still kind of check to see if even if it is um, copyable with the typesetting table. So let's come upstairs. We'll just place this down in the library for now. Because that's all I really want to check. I just want to see if I could copy it. Let's see, where can I put this? Do you think right there? Eh, it's a little bothersome as soon as you come in. Um, Maybe like right here? Alright, in doing so, I need to put on my reading glasses. Don't I look... Not gonna lie, I, I look a little geeky. Because <laughs> they're just so big. <laughs> there you go. There's a nice shot for you. It's beautiful. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Back to work. Alright, so we gotta take these um, print chases. We gotta put them right in the back. Right back there. And then I think... If we put this here. What? No, what? 159 <laughs> levels. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Well, at least it's balanced. Holy cow. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get 159 levels anytime soon. Alright. Um. Jeez. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this up here for now. That's a, um, what do you call that? That's our Unbreaking Tin Book. I'm going to put the glasses up there as well. 159 levels. I am glad, actually, that I didn't make the typesetting table just yet. We'll get to that some other time. Um, I think today, though, I'm going to probably try and start working on power. I need to really start working on that because... Um, I really want to start working in some mine factory reloaded for all of our animals and cattle. And for that, I'm going to need power. So, either that or I want to spend a bunch of resources on other stuff, which I really don't want to do right now. Um, probably should put the potency book back up there. Did I have something else going over here? <sighs> I think I'm going to go ahead and put some iron going. Let's, um, let's actually grab a stack of iron ore. And we'll put that in our pulverizer there. Is that going? Oops. Nope. And it already sent over. Go figure. There we go. Alright, and that'll cook us up some iron. Alright, what I want to start working on is our power situation. So, I want to kind of move a majority of this back here over, I think... Hmm... I think I want to pull it back behind our network. Either that or I want to put it um, back behind this wall. Because I said I was going to wind up moving this pretty soon. Um, so I think in the meantime, I might just go ahead and make a little area back here for it. There we 
you go. Clear up to right about there. Maybe like a five by, uh oh, sand. I don't like seeing sand. It tells me I might wind up running into some water. Yep. More than likely. All right, I'm gonna have to clean that up somehow. Actually, no, this is under my dock. That's the sad part about this thing. Right, this magnet thing really does not like me. Maybe I just need to turn it off every once in a while. So I think this is underneath my dock, right underneath, so... Probably got water right behind that. Anyway, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably cut for a minute and see about moving a good majority of this back off behind our network. That way I can use a lot of this wall here for power generation. And I think I might also try to reroute this uh, fluid duct line here back straight off this way, back behind our... Um, network back there so I'm gonna work on that for a minute and I'll be right back alright guys I've done a little bit of trivial work I went ahead and moved all of our um, sand our gravel glass cobble all that stuff over here onto these uh, storage buses there these I'm not sure what I'm gonna do I think I might need a few more barrels at some point so I might work on that a little bit later on uh, you guys are also gonna notice I got this door sitting here this is just a little tunnel that leads back to our maintenance room behind our our network there um, this isn't actually set up and running yet I just kind of um plopped it down uh, we got our mob essence tank so we're doing good back here I just need to come over this way now we're gonna start setting up our power back here now I went ahead and ran this uh, fluid duct line right here why is this not filled with anything hmm that's weird it was showing that it had like the fluid duct and it was filled with sewage like this but uh, through these uh, covers that I have running through here. Eh, I don't know. That's weird. Um, anyway, so we got this open right there. We got our sewage drum there. I'm going to show you guys kind of how I want this set up. I think I want it centered right here. Then we'll put the um, energy cell on top. Let's see. Um, I might wind up also upgrading this, but we'll just use this one for the time being. I'm going to put these on the side. And this is just a completely temporary power system um, for now. Let's see. So I want blue on each of these sides. Those are inputs. And I think I'm going to have the output on the back. So we want that orange. Um, I think yellow is basically nothing. So that's fine. Uh, let's see. I kind of want, I think, this to run back to there. We'll grab a few more fluid ducts. You, 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 and you. Thank you more of these covers to make it look nice pick you up and let's place this one down first and then we can place this on top kind of like we had it back over there all right so we have that coming in all right now I need to run a line to our network so basically a lot of like ME cable stuff I think I'm gonna run that underground so let's see Ooh, a little bit of iron nice we got a lot of good stuff down here sorry I've been trying to grab everything I can when I'm uh, down here digging and stuff there we go and let's fill this in I got some stone we'll just fill it in with some stone real quick I know I missed a block it's all right Alright, so we're on this level here. So I kind of want to run this out to the middle. reason for that is, is because, well, I'm going to probably wind up hooking all of this up as well at some point. So um, we'll just have like, I think we might do it. Yeah, I think that might be alright. Or I could just run it. Whoa, that guy looks crazy. I think I might just run it through the wall because I might wind up doing something in the floor very soon. 
So it might not work. All right, let me just go ahead and um, just close that part up real quick. And then I think we'll just run this back this way. I gotta be careful back here. I should run into here. There we go. And I'll run the line like right along the wall. Let's see, we'll have it go out this way. Maybe you go up a block. Maybe through here. Oh, hello, Sand. How you doing? Let's go ahead and close that up. Oops, actually, I need that. You, you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Eeh. Darn water. Been fighting this stuff for a while now. <laughs> All right, I get it. I really need to put, like, um, these things in here. Forget the torches. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right, there we go. So we'll run the line back this way like that. I think that'll work. We can close that off. Now we just need some Emmy cable. And we don't really have a lot of that. I'm going to have to make some more. I'm scared to make a whole stack because I'm afraid I'm going to run out of something. All right, that should be all right for now. And then we'll pull these out along with that. That should be all right, I think. All right, we'll pull that up. We'll run this along here. Pull this in the back. We should be able to go ahead and finish this along here. All right, good. Torch, you're going to have to move. Sorry about that, buddy. All right, here we go. Doesn't look too bad. Of course, running that maybe along in the wall might be a little bit better, but I might clean that up at some point later on. All right, now for this part, I'm going to need a few different types of uh, buses. I'm going to need, I think, an export bus, and I think I'm going to want a... Uh, fluid storage bus. Let's see. Let's see. Emmy fluid storage bus? I think that's what I want. Pretty sure that is. Alright, so I'm going to need a regular storage bus, which is interface. I'm really going to have to get this thing auto crafting pretty soon. I'm going to need some more fluids dust. Ah, uh, see, yep. I ran out of the, uh, the Certus quartz. That's not good. Um,. And I only have a little bit of regular Surgis Quartz. So I don't know how well this is going to go for us. I hope we might have like enough to do what I want to do. Let's see. You, you. We're going to need Conversion Matrix. And I have one of those. So there's our storage bus. Now all we need is a covered cable. Which, a little bit of wool. Emmy cable. There we go. And back to the fluid part of this. We should have everything. I'll go figure. We don't even have a bucket. Ah, where are you? Make me a bucket. There we go. Now we have our fluid storage bus. Cool. And the reason I want to do this is because this is going to wind up being a part of my um, fluid storage at some point later on. So um, if I manage to craft myself up a fluid storage monitor, I'd be able to see that I have all of that sewage stored for my network. Now from here, I'm going to run this out. And then I want this to go up, down... And then we need to fill this in. There we go. This way, and then this way. Hmm. Eh, that'll be fine. Alright, now I need four fluid buses, or fluid export buses. These right here. So we're going to need more precision export buses. We're going to need the covered cables. Um, 
I'm probably not going to have enough to make all this, I don't think. Yeah, I might have to go do some, uh, like a little bit of just quick mining for some Certus Quartz. Ouch. That's going to hurt. Hmm. I mean, I know for the meantime I could use, um, just fluid ducts, but I kind of want this... Because I kind of like the way it looks. <laughs> I like the way it looks a little bit better this way. Um, and then we'll need some regular export buses as well, though. Like these right here. Yep. Oh, man. All that Certus Quartz, and I don't have that much. Alright, well, I think what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to have to probably go mining. Hmm. Alright, guys. I was just kind of messing around. I think I'm probably actually going to have enough just to finish off uh, what I want to do right over here. Unfortunately, I'll be out of uh, Certus Quartz after this, I think, so... Make me up some more basic processors, and we'll get these guys cooking up. Ooh, here, give me that. I'll probably wind up needing that anyway. You, start making me some processors. All right, put that away, and I already got seven conversion matrices made up. I need some interfaces now. So I'm going to need four of these for what I want to do, um, but I'm going to need basically eight of these export buses altogether, so... Um, make me some pistons, please. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I know I got some wood in here. Wow, I actually don't have any wooden planks besides those silver wood planks. All right. Um, stack of great wood planks will do just fine then. All right. A few more pistons then. There we go, there's eight of those guys, and then back to the fluid part of this. Export bus. Ooh, I might actually need some more of those processors too, so I'm going to need some more of that. Alright, and then the interfaces. Alright, there's that. Put that away. We'll grab our cables, and just to make sure I get eight. There we go. Good, perfect. Eight interfaces. Right. And then the pistons on the bottom and the cables on top. I think we're going to need a few more cables. Yep. That stinks. <laughs> I got a little bit of that um, Surtis Quartz dust left in the network. So I might be able to craft like a few of them. Yep, nine. Nine's what I got left. And hopefully that'll get us where we need to go. All right, so there's eight basic export buses. I need four of those for the um, solid, which I'm going to use gunpowder in our reactant dynamo. I need these other four for our fluid ones, our fluid export buses. All right, so I'm going to need four pieces of wool. And I'm going to need my cables. There we go. Now what else do we need? Fluid. You. I really need to get that other network up and running. Alright, and then these need to be precision export buses. Alright. Should be able to craft these up. Real quick. Man, you guys are loud over there. Maybe I should, um... Oh, there's four. That'll work out just fine. Eh, that's fine. Just give me that. I'll have those cook up anyway. Uh, let's see. We should, should just be able to convert these guys over into precision export buses. I think those go right there in the center. These go there. Actually, hold on. I need buckets. Where's iron? Need just a little bit of iron to make some buckets. There we go. And then I think I actually need the iron on the side anyway, so let's just do that. I think the bucket goes on the top, if I remember correctly. That, and then that. Should get us fluid export buses. Nice. Now we should be able to finish setting this up. Alright, so on the bottom, top, on the back part of these, we're going to just set these up with the fluid export buses. So these should wind up... Um, actually, no. 
think I need to configure those. So I'm going to need another bucket. Actually, I think I have a bucket in here. Yep, there we go. That'll work. All right, and if I grab me a bucket of sewage, and I shift that in there, that should start filling up with sewage. Awesome. So then I just need to do that for all of them. Now, I believe there's actually an option here, moving mode. Uh, move 20 millibuckets per tick. So I can adjust that to, like, you know, more, but it uses more power in the process, and I don't think I'm going to need to have it set too high, so I'm just going to leave it where it's at. Now, I'm hoping I have enough cable for this, but I need one right there. Let's come down this way. I'm going to put an export bus there there and then right there might need one more I might be able to manage this too but that's gonna go there there and I need one more for right there one more cable but I might be able to do that right over here cuz I kinda got an extra cable laying around hmm actually getting power out is gonna be a little bit of a problem here too at least the way I wanted to. So I might have to pull that up, put that there. And we'll put that, oops, not you, that. All right, there we go. And then we don't need those. So this is all still connected up together, so that'll work out just fine. So all these guys should manage to have sewage in them. Now we just need to feed them some gunpowder. So let's grab a piece of this. Now this is going to more than likely drain um, everything we have in that uh, barrel there. But I think over time it's going to manage to um, start getting, a, uh, getting us a nice little backlog again. So there we go. Each of these guys are filling up with gunpowder. The sewage is keeping up, which is good. They're filling up their internal buffer there. Good. And we should see this pretty much draining down to nothing. All right. And as long as I leave this on, we have some creepers possibly spawning in here. Might uh, be able to keep some uh, gunpowder up and running, but this should last us a good long little while. There we go. Nice. All right. Now, finally, I just need to run. Oh, wow. <laughs> You are now accustomed to the weight of the charm of cobalt. You spin it around with a flourish plus one haste. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting that. All right. All right, and I'm going to run this probably back this way for now. We should run back here. Let's see. I think we might actually run it this way. Underneath this. I saw that. By the way, I've um I've updated uh, between uh, the recordings here. Uh, when I was doing my little bit of planning, I updated to the latest version of Magic Farm 2, which I believe was like 1.19. I, 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 I'm not good with those numbers. <laughs> but uh, if you guys noticed that I was, um, saw that, so this is right here. This is a silverfish block, and uh, you uh, might have been able to like guess that it was a silverfish block by using Wayla at the top, but not anymore. <laughs> I guess they fixed that, which was kind of nice. All right, there we go. So now we need a uh, means of transporting our power, and I think I'm... Wait a minute. That ain't right. Oh, right. I don't think I set that up to um, a pneumatic servo. I think um, out of... Wait, what's going on here? I think I'm losing power. <laughs> I'm either losing power or something weird's going on. Yeah, something something weird's going on here. That doesn't seem right. I 
Yeah, see, <laughs> that fluid, um, those fluid bunces over there, um, taking a lot of power for, um, us to be able to do that, I guess. So, what I'm gonna do for the time being, just so I can get the stuff that I need out of my network and fix that, I'm gonna grab this, and we'll hook this up in the back. Darn it, you and your dirt, give me that, as it go in there. I'm gonna fix this, one way or another. We're gonna fix this real quick. All right, and just for now, we're gonna set that up. While this ex uh, export power out the left side, so that should be filling up. All right, now you should be able to come back around. Grab that pneumatic servo I wanted. There we go. Now I'm just going to do that for this one just because, there we go, we just heard some creepers die so we should see some gunpowder, actually it might land in there and then it just might get automatically exported out anyway so there we go, we'll put that away. But now we shouldn't have any random other items fall in there that we don't want, it should just be gunpowder. These other ones, I'm probably not going to wind up taking like everything out of them at any point so they should be all right um, we got power here now we just need to run this back here like we was working on and to do that I want to turn any eye back on for one and conduit so that transfers 80 we have the hardened energy conduit but I think I want to make myself some redstone energy conduit I got some hardened glass we got some electrum yeah, 60 should be fine. Now I think we're just, yep, we're at the problem with the redstone. Yep, I'm going to have to go do some mining. <laughs> I think we're going to have to go do some mining. Um, that's a little unfortunate because uh, the caves, the caves. All right, well, I guess for now, I'll have to run what I can over to the network. this way with this hardened energy conduit mm. because that um, hardened energy cell is not going to last very long but I can start um, getting this set up I guess so place this one there and like I said I plan on switching this out for redstone energy conduit because well I don't I don't know this, um, it just seems a little bit more expensive to make, I guess. A little bit of, uh, redstone, some leadstone, and invar. I might be able to make a few more up. Let's see if I can. 16? And the only reason why I can is because I'm out of invar? I might have a little bit of invar left. Molten Invar, we got three more. Hopefully this actually doesn't go in my miner's backpack. And it did. Pull that out. I think we should be able to get this hooked up. Later on though, I do wanna have everything hooked up with the um, redstone energy conduits. So there, we're actually out of basically out of redstone which is a little unfortunate but we'll get through it and this might be enough to manage to get to hook up to our network might just be enough perfect all right let's get this out of the way get you out and here we go we should have power should be able to pick this guy up and we should have a Plentiful amount of power coming in now, and I can get this covered up at some point, I think. Can use these, right? Yep. Good. I don't know if that works on these. No, those don't work on the uh, ME cables. Alright, let's check out power, and these are doing fine. This is still draining down a little bit, it looks like. Ooh, wow. I wonder how much power this thing's actually using. 
Might have to make a couple more of those reactant dynamos at some point. All right, let's switch, uh, switch this over to MJs, or that's the power units. Oh, they don't have the RF on there, do they? Applied Energistics, build craft. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to do the conversions. I don't know the conversions off the top of my head. Um, but I'll have to keep an eye on this. But I really need to go do some mining as well. So I think next episode we might head down into some um, some mines. We might do a little bit of mining, try out some uh, of our new tools that we have. But I think that's going to about do it for today, guys. I want to thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. If you guys would rate the video, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.